I recently purchased this fish pond. It's a fish pond summit sling bag 2.0. It's the new one, but after using it for a while, I realized that there is a huge design flaw that really, really irritates me. Uh, and so I was forced to either try to fix this flaw or to just buy another pack. But I really like the pack. I did not want to get rid of it. Uh, but here's the flaw. When you put your net into this net holster here on the back of the bag, it is super, super loose. I tried shorter nets, longer nets, uh, you name it. I just could not get it to stay in there. So when I sling the bag to the back, the net was always falling out. Super irritating. And you can see right here, there is no anchor point. There's no loop, no strap, no type of webbing that you can uh, anchor a net magnet or anything like that too. To me that was a huge design flaw and I had to choose between either getting rid of the bag or fixing it. Well, I liked the bag enough that I decided I was going to just tackle the problem and come up with a solution. So I needed to figure out a way to get this net magnet to attach there because I do like these net magnets uh, to be able to hold the net in. This one is the fish pond confluence net magnet it comes with the leash and, and the tether and everything else. But I needed a way to get it to stay up there uh, and have something to anchor it to. So I bought some uh, a, a strap uh, with webbing and some buckles uh, off of Amazon. I'll put a link below where you can get something like this. But I bought this and I devised a way to fix the problem. I'm going to cut a piece of webbing attach it to the bag right there to make a loop and then from the extra strap I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustable strap that I can attach the net magnet to. So I cut a piece of webbing uh, and I did cut it at a slant to match the shape of the strap of the fish pond bag that I'm going to attach this webbing to. I then burnt the ends just to give it a finish so it didn't unravel. Next, I will sew this to the bag, and that will provide a loop to put a strap through where I can attach the net magnet. Since my wife already had her sewing machine out, she generously agreed to sew the strap on for me, but you could do it by hand. It's a simple stitch. We sewed one side and then the other, and you could do this by hand with a lock stitch or you can buy a stitching owl, which is basically allows you to hand stitch something uh, to a bag. But since my wife had her sewing machine out and was uh, willing to do this for me, I had her just put a few uh, zigzags down each side to attach it to the bag. Here you can see now it's firmly attached to the bag and it creates a loop that I can then attach a, an adjustable strap that I'm going to make from the extra webbing I had left over from the little piece that I bought on Amazon. I'll need to uh, build a strap and adjust it up a little bit into the net holster so that it is the perfect length to come in contact with mine. Now I did want to build it to be adjustable because uh, sometimes I will use a bigger net or a shorter net depending on where I'm going. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and fashion that out of uh, the strap and I'm going to make it adjustable using the existing hardware just have to get it up there long enough to measure just to make sure that it will reach up into the bag. So here I've got my um, strap already built. I just used the existing hardware that came with the webbing strap that I purchased on Amazon. I did go ahead and fold over the side uh, on the end and sew it. That'll keep it from unraveling. It'll also make it so it doesn't slide through that buckle very easily and come off. So now I just need to adjust the buckle and uh, extend it, that net magnet up to where it reaches the other net magnet inside my bag, which I've done. And you can see here now with that extended, it does not come out. I can lift that bag up, shake it, um, and my net's not going to fall out. It's uh, secure in there with that new net magnet. As a bonus, uh, I had a lot of strap left over that has a couple buckles and a little clip. I'm going to put that together and keep it in my sling bag because I like to have stuff like this when I'm out on the river. 
you never know when something's going to fail. Uh, one thing I love to take also are zip ties. You never know when uh, a strap's going to break or something's going to come apart, and zip ties are a quick fix when you're in a pin. So uh, that solved my issue, just adding that little strap there. I've used the bag several times now, and the net stays securely in place just as I wanted it to. So I'm really happy with this bag. I think that is the one flaw that I think uh, that fish pond overlooked when they were making this bag and uh, hopefully it's something they fix in the future but if not I would highly recommend grabbing this bag and just doing that quick little fix to it uh, it is by far the best sling pack that I've ever had and I really really enjoy it